was a sigh of relief Thursday for parents of the Oxford High School shooting. James Crumley was convicted on four counts of involuntary manslaughter following the convictions of his wife and son. Jennifer and James Crumley are the first parents in the nation to be held accountable in a mass shooting committed by a child. Nick Massanelli reports. This verdict does not bring back their children, but it does mark a moment of accountability and will hopefully be another step to address and end and prevent gun violence. The guilty verdicts of both Jennifer and now James Crumbly mark a monumental shift, the first time parents of a school shooter have ever been held accountable. But this started with one question, where did he get that gun? Where did he get it? And how did he get it? And that is a question that every single one of us as mothers and fathers asked. But there was a somber tone from both the Oakland County prosecutor and the parents of the four students killed because accountability is not just a word that we've been throwing around loosely. I mean, it's uh, it's what we're look, it's what we, we want. It's the, it's uh, it's absolutely necessary. They're talking about accountability, looking at federal leaders and what they believe gun law changes are necessary. We can put people on the moon. We can build skyscrapers huge monuments like the Hoover Dam and we can't keep our skills, <clears throat> our kids safe in schools. They're also looking for accountability for the leaders of Oxford High and the school district who they say failed miserably. There's a lot involved in, in any school district and um, to you know neglect your responsibilities and not implement the proper policies and uh, not, not um, stand up for our kids and, and, and be that voice and, and show them their, your leadership and it it's absolutely has to happen. It, um. So far the family's lawsuits against school leaders have been blocked with rulings saying the district has governmental immunity. It's time to break up that administration country club and it's time for change because we've got four kids here dead. And nobody wants to take any accountability. The one thing, whether they stay or they leave like they should, they know our kids' names. They don't have that luxury to forget them. They're, they're not given that right. Just like the, other, the parents say, they don't get a free pass, and neither does the school.